Hello and welcome to another Spacemax uh, screencast. Um, today I'm going to cover Magit, uh, which is the really nice, really feature friendly um, tool for doing uh, Git and versioning inside inside Emacs. So let's switch to a file I want to version. Um, so I've got it in my recent file, so I'm just going to select that. And if we scroll down this file, I've actually got some uh, highlighting down the uh, right hand side you can see that um, there are indicators that show which parts of my file are um, have been changed, been added to, which parts have had sections deleted here. So you can see uh, right in the far left there's a little red section where something's been changed and a big long green section where uh, I've added a lot of code. <coughs> so I could actually stage things from right straight from this file if I wanted to. Uh, but I'm actually going to pull up the status of uh, of my entire project to see what files need changing, what files need committing, etc. etc. So I'm going to um, bring up the menu with space because I'm in file mode and uh, it's basically G for git and S for maggot status. So this is very much like doing git status on the command line. You get to see which are your untracked files, which your and stage changes that you have as well, and at the very top it's showing you where where the um, the different uh, parts of uh, my branches are. So I've got the head is at uh, the master branch. Uh, I've got a remote origin and master that I can push to, uh, and there's also a new feature called CI which I haven't used yet in Magit, which I'll hopefully explore in the near future. So as, as you can see, I've got seven untracked files, which I haven't actually included yet into uh, version controllers yet. And I've got a range of uh, files in here that I could, that I've got modifications. One of them's been deleted as well. Um, so we could actually just uh, commit that, uh, uh, commit that change. We could just, uh, first of all, stage. So if we just press S with the side here and it's become a stage change um, and then we can select to uh, commit that uh, into uh, a version, local version control by pressing C and we have we have a few options we can we could actually just do a commit we could also amend or squash or do all sorts of other nice things to make our commit history uh, really clear uh, in this case I'm just going to do C again for commit and this brings up a commit message box in here where we can type in um, uh, uh, type in why we're actually committing this change um, obviously I would put more, a little bit more detail in uh, if it was a more involved change and you can actually see on the on the right hand side that this is the actual change that's going to be committed. These are the de details of what I'm actually going to put into this commit, and it is just a simply deleting this swing example uh, .clj file. So, uh, and underneath my commit message, all these uh, lines starting with a hash character, these are all going to be ignored. It's just there as a uh, sort of a, a feedback from Maggot to tell me what I could. Uh, also be commit also be including in this commit if I wanted to. These are the outstanding uh, changes that I could include, um, just in case there's something I kind of missed. Uh, in this case, I know I just want to include that deleted file, uh, so I'm going to uh, confirm that and go back into file mode. And I can just do uh, comma comma, and in uh, if you're in Emacs mode, you could just do uh, Control C, Control C uh, to do the same thing as well. So now you can see I've got uh, a couple of uh, unmerged into master uh, entries here. So basically, two commits that I've created locally, but I haven't actually pushed them to master as yet. Uh, so what I can do is uh, simply do a P for push, which gives me the push options, and I'm going to uh, basically just push them upstream using uh, U and then Git's going to run and 
it essentially just push those changes from being local to being uh, on GitHub. And so I've already connected this to GitHub, I've already told this project what the remote is, and I've also logged into uh, Git using my Git as well, so it's cached uh, the token there as well, so it doesn't need to prompt me every time. One of the ni really nice things actually, so I'm just going to do another commit, um, is you don't need to commit a whole file. So I'm going to look at the unstaged change files I've got, and if I have a look in the project file, uh, if I press tab I can open that up and actually see the diff of the change. So this would be like doing git diff on project.clj. Um, and you can see I've got a couple of lines of change. So I've got so we're replacing this first dependency line with a second dependency line, and it's actually showing me well here we're actually just bumping up a version number of closure. And I've also added uh, a change by including this extra dependency called proto repl. And uh, to make the commit a bit nicer, I'm actually just going to include part of this. So this is this is essentially uh, the hunk, as it's called in Git. This is this the the change. So if you've got a lot of changes, you might have several hunks in here. Um, let's see if we've got an example of that. Uh, yeah. So here we've got several hunks uh, all, all as part of the the overall changes in this file. There's quite a lot in there actually. Uh, I'm just pressing tab to minimize them. Just an example to just show you how many there is. That's far too many. That needs a bit of looking at that file. Um, and if I go back to the name and, uh, of the file itself and just press tab, it closes everything up for me as well. Uh, so you can see you have you can have multiple hulks, hunks. You could just stage just that particular hunk, or you could stage several hunks, or you could stage the whole file. Or to be really uh, fine grained, you can also stage a particular line. So I'm going to press Control Space, and this is going to help me highlight just the part of the file I actually want to make into a commit. So here I'm I'm including the the line that's been removed, the dependency line that's been removed, and the line that's been replaced by. Uh, so basically, effectively, just changing the closure version from 1.8 to 1.9. Uh, and press S and it's just staged those two lines for me and you can see it's still got the changes here um, in this hunk that I could add if I wanted to but that's not going to be included in a commit if I did a commit right now so if I close it up so you can see if I go to the stage changes I can press tab again and it opens up and it's just that single line I'm changing so the line that's affected and the line that's replacing uh, the affected line. So if I do a commit now by just pressing C and I'm going to create a new commit so I'm just going to commit again or C and it's giving me the commit line messages so I can type in a decent commit line so let's uh, go into insert mode and say uh, boom. version of closure to 1.9 oh. Uh, alpha four. Oops, four. Okay, so that's my commit message, uh, and you can see on the other side that yeah, it's, the, it's showing me exactly what's going to be committed, and so uh, I'm happy with that. Uh, and I'm just going to therefore commit. And it takes me back, and you can see down the bottom we've got another unstaged merge, and I can push that uh, whenever I want to and it will go up to uh, the GitHub remote. So that's a very quick uh, demonstration of kind of the basics way you would use version control through uh, specifically Git uh, using Emacs, using Magit, uh, and I hope you find that useful. Thank you.